My name is Faisal Ashraf and I currently work as a business development manager for an advertising agency in London. The name of my podcast is Faisal X Busy and I launched that particular podcast with the help of the Minotaur podcast projectile program. It was something that caught my eye because it's something that I've been thinking about discovering my voice in and uh, interviewing people is something that I've thought about for quite some time. So when he approached me and asked me if it's something that I'd be interested in, I was actually very interested. And not only that, I think uh, sitting down and actually talking to him about uh, the program and also get, getting more information about what, what podcasts are actually about, what they're for, what they're, for, what they're not for, all that sort of stuff was actually very, very informative. Uh, I learned a lot about podcasts in general and why they're actually such a handy tool and why they would be really good for me or why it could be could really work for me for the kind of goals uh, and outcomes that I've set for myself. So knowing that there was a structured program available to help me go from a complete novice to having a launched podcast and being quite confident and comfortable with all of the aspects involved with that from uh, actually setting up, you know, launching with Apple, recording, uh, recording episodes, equipment, software, approaching guests, structuring a podcast and interview, uh, all these different things using social media and uh, using outreach to promote. Uh, there was so much that I learned from the program. And uh, yeah, it was, it was just good to know that there was a structure to it which really helped and uh, yeah I've, I've been really impressed with it like it's uh, been fantastic and it's been a great experience like the journey of going from zero to I mean I wouldn't quite describe myself as a hero just yet but I'm certainly getting there. <laughs> the impact on my self-esteem uh, I would say I mean I, I would consider myself to be somebody with generally a good, good level of self-esteem anyway but uh, I would say that the uh, you know the, the experience of putting myself out there in a new way uh, and actually considering the fact that I'm not very active on social media in general anyway meant that when I did start actually promoting and talking about this, it really helped me to discover maybe a part of myself which um, I hadn't previously had an opportunity to particularly be aware of uh, in terms of myself in relation to other people. And, the people that are in my existing network, my friends, my family, acquaintances, that sort of thing. So, yeah, you know, sitting in front of the camera and recording is, is I'm sure anybody would agree, a very interesting experience because you don't have somebody there in front of you. But the experience of doing that, for me, has given me real clarity or had, has helped me to discover clarity in myself and my voice. That I would say that I probably wouldn't quite have had the opportunity to do so otherwise. So that's how it's affected my self-esteem. I think it's helped me to view myself differently in light of myself and in other people um, and be quite a, a lot more clearer about who I am, what's my story, my sense of identity and that sort of thing. Building on the, the previous point about self-esteem, my confidence, um, you know, Confidence in front of the camera, you know, practice, practice, practice. When you're doing a podcast, you're constantly practicing every episode that you you do, you record, whether it's a solo one or uh, a guest um, uh, episode or interview. So confidence in front of the camera is one thing which I think has really vastly improved. Things like projecting my voice, uh, looking at the camera, being presentable, that sort of thing has been interesting, but also the initial experience of getting in front of the camera and doing the whole thing and then over the course of a period of time starting to relax more and really feel free to just express myself quite authentically uh, was a very uh, is a great experience as far as confidence goes um, and uh, aside from you know the, the in front of camera part you know approaching people for example being clear about who I am, what I've got to offer, and, and having a, a like, great deal of clarity around having actually built something or being in the process of building something to put that out and to let people know, to actually take control of what I'm wanting people to know about me and what I, what I want them to know about what I'm up to as well. 
has uh, been a real confidence booster as well because it's helped me to to place myself uh, with with a sense of real conviction amongst people to be like you know this is who I am and this is what I'm about uh, and why don't you get involved it's a it's a great experience for building confidence for me communication I think is something that I take quite an interest in I am very intrigued by you know the things that we say and do why people do what they do um so naturally i'm quite empathic and quite interested in being an effective communicator so i would say like my awareness or my skills in that respect are quite high or relatively high in comparison to the average person perhaps but just once again it's, it's basics when you're recording something uh, it's, it's projecting your voice having clarity in your voice and uh, talking to the camera, looking at the camera, um, you know, because you're not only just communicating as you are, but you're communicating to somebody through the medium of a podcast. And it's it's becoming aware of that, how this person is going to be receiving you and how to optimize your communication in order to reach them in the best possible way to, to provide them with some sort of value that you think will help them in any way. It's not just about delivering value it's about taking responsibility for really communicating that value and having a you know the program and doing the podcast has really helped me to become aware of that really putting myself in the other person's shoes and also like guest interviews like when you when you're communicating with somebody over a digital medium you know especially you know these days since since the pandemic you know everybody's become used to working from home you know zoom calls that sort of thing is the norm now um but you don't actually realize how much how how different it is from having an in-person face-to-face meeting and so you have to adapt your communication style uh in order to really get the best out of in the context of a guest interview to get the best out of the other person you have to you know take responsibility to navigate and direct and guide that interview that person to say the things that you're wanting them to say not literally but having them talk about certain aspects of their experiences that are particularly useful you know a podcast episode can end up becoming just a huge rabbit hole and those are actually some of the most um, exciting and uh, you know fulfilling ones but at the same time being a host and hosting an interview is a skill um, and it's an art as well i think and again like communication builds into that so learning how to and practicing being able to do that is actually a very valuable part of the program and i can safely say it's given me a lot a lot more awareness of uh, adapting my communication style to a different medium so for me this this program it was intention intentional for me to pursue it on the basis of self awareness and self improvement um which is most of the things I do in life in general anyway I have a very clear idea about why I'm doing it and what what it's going to what it's going to do for me so I guess in that respect it's probably a little bit different from some of the some of the other people in the program um I I ne- ne- necessarily came into this program looking for um a short term or you know a very specific kind of financial goal or anything like that for me it was literally just about becoming aware of my own voice and really owning it and also using it as an opportunity to craft and build my story or stories uh, but also speak to people and connect and network with like-minded people who have similar interesting stories to share I, you know I love it it comes to me very naturally so you know it's definitely been 100% primarily a self-improvement project for me uh and i can say that you know i'm very grateful for having had the opportunity to to uncover uh, a lot of that through the through the guidance that Zulf has provided but also through the structure of the program itself like it's given it's helped me to focus on the self improvement side more than be worrying about and running around doing busy things uh, which are still important uh, but you know it's just helped to balance that out and really help me to focus more my attention on the stuff that I really love so through the program i have managed to make some connections with people that i otherwise would not have met or had 
uh, access to. So that's one thing, which is like indirectly ended up leading me on to different um, opportunities, different industries and ways of doing business, um, as well as, you know, making money for myself, um, you know, in outside of my job, basically. So as you can see, a side hustle or, you know, business opportunities. Um, it's also made me aware of or more informed about what a podcast actually is and how it's such a powerful medium, but it's also very current and relevant to our times. And it's a medium that's gaining traction still. You know, I would have thought looking back, I know I was very, I had quite a um, strong idea about what I thought a podcast was because I'm not the type of person to do something because everybody's doing it or you know be about something because everyone's doing it in fact that's probably something that puts me off i'll be like i'm not doing it just because it's popular but when i actually heard or like when zulfi actually told me about what podcast is actually about but relative to the time like how big and how much opportunity is still there it really helped me to become better informed and reevaluate the preconceived ideas i had which were not particularly well researched or informed so it actually gave me a lifeline in a way because i otherwise may have just dismissed the opportunity um and and you know just naturally through that it, it made me aware of you know you don't realize until you actually become aware of something how much it's happening around you you know to to discovering podcast agencies as a thing like you never i never ever would have thought that was even a thing to seeing how big businesses, pioneers, big corporations are actually investing quite heavily in podcasts as a medium um, and how these skills are actually very, very useful for me to have because it, it gives me an opportunity to stand out, uh, to reach people in a unique way um, and to, to do things that otherwise I may not have ever been able to have done. So yeah, there's definitely been so much and, and I I genuinely feel like it's just the beginning of many, many opportunities that I'm going to create. And that's the best part of it, is I'm creating these opportunities through the podcast. It's the podcast that's provided me with the, the resourcefulness and the, the, you know, something significant, something of substance to actually share and use, which is, yeah, it, it's massively valuable, not just to me, but a lot of other people as well. So, yeah, it's... it's uh, a game changer, honestly. The biggest challenge for me, I recognize, actually, was the fact that uh, I, I did have and I do have preconceived ideas about what I think a podcast is. What's really funny for me, and it's probably quite interesting for a lot of people to know this, uh, I was working with a coach, and something that came up for me, a random thought or feeling that I had one day, which was, I asked myself, like, what is something that I could happily do for free and just really enjoy? And something that came up for me was actually I would love to sit down with interesting people and talk about life, about their stories, experiences, mine. And that's something that I actually do and have been doing for a long, long time. Um, but I've just never had a medium where I can actually save, record and, and utilize that. And it's something that I've been thinking about. For, on and off for quite some time like I wondered if there's an opportunity for me to, to be able to or there's a way that I can do this so when Zulfi actually contacted me with with the prospect of this program I, I, I laughed to myself like wow isn't it interesting how that's just happened to come about and the truth is it's always been there you know podcasts it's not like they're anything new in that respect they've been around for quite some time but it was a fact that again it was presented to me at a time that was really pivotal in my journey for me to actually do something about it and use it so that that was one thing that i think was was absolutely fantastic and it's not just it doesn't just end there because there's having the dream or the vision but then there's executing it as well which i know would definitely have been a challenge had i tried to do it myself in the sense that we all live busy lives so we all have lots of things and it's just a matter of priorities you know i don't like saying that i'm too busy for anything it just means that it's not a priority uh, and so having the accountability and the coaching and the mentoring from zulfi in the in the program or as part of the program in the structure of the program sorry um it's really helped to be disciplined uh, he's probably gonna laugh when he reads this because he knows 
I've not been the most disciplined, but my, the intention has been there, you know, and I've always showed up as best as I can and continue to show up on a consistent basis, which is how I see the program as well. It's not just about uh, having a great episode and posting it. It's about having the longevity, the consistency uh, to keep coming back again and again and again uh, and really honing my craft in that regard. Uh, so, yeah, that those are some of the challenges. Uh, other, other aspects has been about, again, you know, will I have something of, of interest to people to talk about you know, is it going to be are people actually going to pay attention? Do they even care or give a damn about who I am and what I have to say? Um, and I've been pleasantly surprised uh, by some of the feedback that I've had, some of the people that I've got in touch with and managed to make contact with, um, who I, again, otherwise probably never have contacted or been in touch with. And, yeah, just, yeah, again, like putting yourself out there, you know, you, you sometimes get quite comfortable in a, in a world of your own in terms of socially and social media. And uh, when you when you have something to put out to your friends and family or your network on social media, it can actually be quite daunting, even if you're a confident person, which is what I would consider myself to be. Um, it's like, well... I've, I've actually got to really put myself out there now. It's, it's not just like I'm saying something. I've got a, a product or a service that I'm showing them and putting out there for people to scrutinize. How do I feel about that? Uh, so, again, the structure and the mentoring and the guidance from Zulfi really helped because I'm pretty sure most people would go all that way and even run at that point because it's quite scary and it's quite confrontational. Um, so having the guidance, the structure, the mentorship has really helped to navigate those challenges and obstacles that have come along the way, the expected ones and the unexpected ones. If there's one thing that I could pick about this program, uh, which has been a standout, you know, winner for me, it's it's having had, uh, having gone through the process of uh, doing, doing in the right way, though not just busy things, but crafting and creating a product and my own space effectively, my own digital space, my own digital medium. Um, it's been full of ups and downs, lots of challenges along the way, but having actually gone through the whole process from start to finish and being on my way now, as, as yeah, it's definitely probably the best part of this for me and, and something that I've really enjoyed and taken a lot from. So with regards to the structure and the format and materials, as well as how the program was delivered, uh, I was very pleasantly surprised with the, the level of professionalism, the consistency of the branding. It's the small details for me personally that are really important. So when I buy or when I buy into a program, I'm immediately wanting to ensure that it's the real deal. Uh, and, and I did feel that with the, like I said, with the structure, the format, the materials, the way Zulfi had, had approached everything, the, you know, timekeeping, all these sorts of things, like the consistency with showing up for the group and, and uh, really being there for the success of the group, it really felt like, oh, yeah, you know, it's important to him. And it's also a very well put together and very well thought out program. And uh, I really appreciated that, and it helped me to value it more as well. So, you know, the resources which I've got and I've taken away from the program, I can use them again and again um, for launching, you know, another podcast potentially, or revamping or restructuring or re revisiting my podcast and making it better, you know, improving it. Um, digging for new ideas for new podcasts, for example, all of this has been made possible because of the structure and the format and the materials, which in itself uh, is so valuable. So I was really happy, a very professional and very, as I say, very, you could tell that there was a lot of effort put into it, uh, which gives me a lot of confidence and gave me a lot of confidence in the program. So my experience with regards to support um, support, help, guidance, mentorship in, in the in the program. Um, 
again, Zulfi's just been extremely professional, uh, but he's at the same time been very personable, very easy to get in touch with, and very helpful in terms of you know going above and beyond. The main thing was that he's very proactive about, or he has been very proactive um, in this program in terms of. I can tell that he's gone through the process himself, for example, because a lot of the the aspects of the program that he addressed in the structure of the program was clearly influenced by, and you realize that once you actually do it, that all right, he's actually done it himself because these are little, little things. It's the small details again that really give you that confidence in knowing that, okay, he's done it. So I trust his guidance and trust his opinion. But yeah, just being able to access him pretty much. I mean, I'm, I wouldn't say any time because that'd be unreasonable. But, you know, knowing that I could get a particularly quick response out of him and a very helpful, like, float out response as well. I uh, never, never ever felt left in the dark at all throughout the program. If anything, I felt like he, at some stages, was really holding me accountable and pulling me along where I'd sort of just let life get in the way which again for me was just massively important because I really felt like it was a reality check at some point as well. Like how much do you, you know, really care about this program? And I know that I did, but it's like when somebody else is holding you accountable for me, that's a big like, okay, like you really need to step your game up here. So it, it, it was massively important and valuable for me uh, to have his support, uh, um, his support and have the support of the, of the the program there um they, you know we live in a very very interesting and rapidly changing world and i think that it doesn't hurt to become you know to be experimental with new ways of expressing yourself to reaching people out reaching out to people and, and creating and sharing and i think that the program has really made me aware of a particular way of doing that that again, I was probably never likely to utilize um, or, or make use of. You know, sometimes we come across opportunities in life where we look at them and we think, oh, the ship sailed on that one. I wish I had got involved with it once upon a time when it was still relatively unknown or untapped. And this has really felt like, all right, this is what it feels like to discover something when it's still relatively untapped and unknown. And I can see myself really making huge use out of the skills but also the awareness of and, and having done it the right way um so yeah it, it's it's been a real game changer in that respect um and lacing that in with you know day-to-day -day life in terms of relationships in business for example you know the podcasts have just helped me to really hone the aspects of myself that make me an interesting person. And what I mean by that is when you sit down and have a conversation with somebody in whatever context, whether it's a work meeting, whether it's a, you know, I'm prospecting for a new client um, and I do so a lot in my work and I'm meeting people all the time. When you're used to talking in a certain way, presenting in a certain way, understanding and communicating through, uh, you know, again, through the, the lens of a podcast and through the structure of the program and the things that I've learned, it just helps you again to be really clear and to it gives you confidence in a way where you think, all right, okay, like I can actually use this in other areas of my life. And it's, it's, it's been very helpful in that respect as well. It just, I think it makes you aware of how interesting you are, but also how interesting other people can be because you then start to think about everybody is a potential podcast guest <laughs> which is crazy but it makes you aware or hyper aware of little little things which you again otherwise may not have paid attention to and that is sometimes the difference between people who have and exploit and create opportunities and people who are passed by millions of opportunities daily but just don't have the eyes or the ears for them so i feel massively well equipped in that way to to navigate life to be able to discover and find these opportunities. And that's a genuine passion of mine in people as well. You know, I always look for aspects of people which are fascinating and interesting. And this has really helped me to utilize that, that fascination and that passion and 
actually put it into something. I prioritize and I really invest a lot in my own self development and personal development and self improvement, whatever you want to call it. So, courses, coaching, programs, books, seminars, you know, I've invested tens of thousands of pounds in in that um, and in, in all of those different types of products and services and I can safely say uh, you know I've learned a lot through the process of investing in these programs um, you know I've worked with many different kinds of people and uh, I've taken a lot of value from a lot of different things um, this program for me represents probably one of, if not the best value for money, but also value for time, effort, energy, and resources uh, in relation to my specific goals, outcomes, and and you know outlook on life. You know, it's it's been crazy. Uh, I have bought and used, and not sometimes not used programs. Uh, that I've spent a lot of money on, um, and I've worked with people who have spent a significant, again, amount of money and time on, who haven't cared as much. Or I can I can say, instead of maybe putting it that way, that Zulfi has shown that he's cared more through the program, and that's really made me think quite consciously about future um, programs that I'd buy or go for or I'm interested in because it's given me a new standard in terms of what's possible and what it's what is you know I can expect really from a program and I guess it spoiled me in a way because I probably use this as a benchmark against other programs in the future you know when you you know undertake or you buy a program and you kind of feel like and I have felt like this where you bought a program in the past and as soon as the payment has been made, it changes. Like the pressure is off, the interest dies down, you know, because the, the, the provider of the program themselves, you can just feel it in their language, in their approach, in their interest, in you know, everything. Once, and I'm, I've been in sales for a long time, so I know that feeling. I still work in sales, you know. You chase and chase and chase your prospect until you nail them down, and once you've got the sale, that you know that rush is over, and it's like all right, onto the next one now. And I've genuinely felt sometimes like this person, what they promised and what they really were selling in terms of their attitude and, and all of that, and what actually transpired was two very different things. Um, and with Zulfi, I've never felt like that. Uh, I've never felt like he. He just wanted to get me in and out, or he just wanted, you know, my money, or he didn't really care as long as, you know, he's really been there throughout the process. Um, but also, I've got so much to take away from the program as well, which is invaluable. You know, it's it's it's, it's crazy, like how valuable it is. And um, yeah, so I, yeah. <laughs> It really gives me a lot to think about past purchasing decisions in the arena of self-development and personal improvement because it's really, I said, given me a new standard with which I would probably benchmark other future purchases and programs by and also reflect in hindsight on past programs um, that I've bought into. I'm really happy uh, with the program. <laughs> Just to keep it real, like I'm not the kind of person to do these sorts of you know, testimonials, especially not recorded ones. <laughs> it's just like, all right. you know, I wrote the program and I enjoyed it. Now just leave me alone, Dad. <laughs> but like, I'm genuinely happy. Um, as I said, you know, for me, this the the timing of this program coming to me was was actually really interesting, and it really it was something in itself that influenced me to pay attention to it. But I get, as I said, having had the experience of going through a structured program and really utilizing the best of it and becoming aware of how I can use it moving forward on my own as well. Um, yeah, I'm very, very happy with that. And uh, I'm very happy with, you know, with everything that Zulfi represents as far as, you know, somebody, like I said, who cares and somebody who's really taken 
to care, effort and attention to crafting something which is genuinely of value. Um, and, and I do really feel like I'm going to take a lot from from him, not just even through the program, but in the future as well. He's, he's been great. Uh, and the program itself has been great in equipping me with the resources and the resourcefulness to to just be better uh, in so many different ways in relation to my own, uh, you know, uh, discovering and, and really going through the process of executing my personal profile, my my vision in terms of what I want for myself, my goals, my outcomes. Um, interviewing people and being an interesting person socially, developing social skills, um, yeah, so much, so much. And and I know that this is not the is not the only podcast. I'm I'm I know that because I've already started working on other podcasts, um, in the, as an individual, but also in in conjunction with and co-hosting with other people and having that confidence of actually doing that process now. And rinsing and repeating that process is actually really exciting. Like, I can do it, and I'm showing other people how to do it as well now, which is, yeah, it's massive. I would absolutely recommend this program to other people. I'm not going to sit here and say I would recommend it to absolutely anyone and everyone. I think there are certain types of people who will definitely take massive, massive value from this program, and as I have. And I think it is people like me, um, well, not just people like me, but people like me in the sense that if you've always felt like you've had a voice or you've recently discovered uh, your voice or you really like to uh, develop your voice in any particular aspect or area of your life and your life experience, you know, just don't, don't even think about it. Like a podcast is definitely... And, and I'm again, I'm not the kind of person who gets overly excited or hyped about the next hottest thing or the you know the next best method and why everybody should be doing it. But I genuinely believe that if that's what you want or that's what you're interested in, you will you will take so much. And and I would 100% recommend it. Um, or alternatively, if you're somebody who's actually very scared of and I recognize the challenge or the fears that you may have around discovering your voice, um, sharing your story. A podcast is by far and large, like hands down, one of, if not the best ways to really overcome that fear and challenge. And it's not just about having a podcast to show for it. It's about everything you're going to take from the process. And with regards to this specific program, um, the, the amazing part of it is that you will have the support, the guidance and the structure, which is really important for you to be able to address and uncover the truth behind the challenges and the fears that you face. And most importantly, like overcoming it and overcoming them, challenges and fears. Um, and Zulfi, again, like, he's, not, he's not a bravado kind of guy. He keeps it real with you. And he shares his own personal experiences with you as well, which is what makes it very um, real for you as a normal person and not some, you know, sexy coach who's on boats and driving flashy cars and stuff on Facebook and Instagram adverts and whatever. He's a real guy in the real world like you and I and everybody else for that matter. So it's like when you hear about it from his experience and you're, you're living it and you're experiencing it yourself, it makes it that much more real and possible and achievable for you. So I'd probably say, actually, if you're scared, you should definitely do it. It's like, it should be a must for you, not even like a, yeah, you know, you kind of you should, like, you need to. Um, you know, it's one of those programs where the 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 value that you'll get from it and the, the, the transformation is evergreen. It's the skills and the experience that you'll build that will keep on giving for the rest of your life, you know, the rest of your personal and professional experience. You know, just having the opportunity to be able to take a personal experience of your own and be able to present it in a certain way 
or be able to repurpose it and present it in many different ways is is extremely valuable for example that's just one small thing which you might not think of but it's like we all have extraordinary experiences all the time and we end up just developing like me just a bank of interesting connections and experiences that you never really do anything with and just end up somewhere in in an internal kind of treasure chest where you're just like every so often you'll revisit and think oh yeah that was nice having a podcast is like a, an amazing way to actually be able to do something with that and to do something with the interesting connections that you make and you, you've made in the past and to rekindle some of the opportunities that you may have felt that you've kind of just let go of or lost or not had anything to do with so yeah take get on it do it like don't think about it just just get on with it